today we're going to talk about charging from home. What is it like? What do you need to do? Like, how long does it take? How easy is it? What type of chargers do I use? And uh, so I'll just show you now. This is my favorite thing. If you want to bring the camera over here a little bit. This is my favorite thing. And I know it seems really simple. You just push this button in. You pull it out. You close it. And I just hook this around here. I know it seems a little, uh, a little junky, but I think that's really cool. I use my little snow plow for a little wipe thing. But then I just get in my car and I go. That's why I love it because it's like I don't have to stop at a gas station. I just plug it in at night and it's charged in the morning. Now, actually, I only charge at most probably about twice a week. I'll plug it in at night whenever it gets below maybe 50% or I'll charge on Fridays in case we're going to go somewhere uh, on the weekend or something. But let me show you this here. Some of you are like, did you install the Ford Pro Charger? No, I had a what I thought was a, a clever idea. This, um, this portable charger actually comes with a little wall mount unit and you can just mount it right to the wall. I had a choice between two things. I could either install a 240 volt outlet. It's actually only a 30 amp though, because that's all my panel would take was a, we only have 30 amps available. So it's a 30 amp plug here, but I either had this or I also, some of you might ask, well, why didn't you actually install the regular uh, Ford charger? And if you back up over here, you can actually see it. It's right there in the box. I still have it in the box. But I'm going to show you the electrician came out and it's basically $1,500 to install that in the box or $400 to install this plug. And the reason why I did this was this plug can be used for other things. And Ford is actually partnering with Tesla and their adapters for right here if you see this adapter that plugs in right here in the ford the normal uh the normal adapter here is going to be changing so i asked myself why would i want to spend fifteen hundred dollars on installing something that is only going to be for my truck Instead, I could install a plug that I can actually go get any other third-party charger and use that or just use my Ford portable charger. Now, the cool thing is, is I can just take this off and take it with me, and it's really cool. When I pull it off the wall, I wanted to show you that it comes with two adapters. You have a 110 plug as well as the 240 outlet that I was showing you. But the cool thing about this is that you know, I don't use it that much, but if you don't have an outlet that'll actually work um, for this type of plug, then you can use this one, but it only gets about one kilowatt every hour. So you're gonna be stuck for a long time if you're trying to charge this, but what it helps with is that you're able to charge whenever it's cold. Uh, you're able to plug it in at night when it's cold when you don't need that much of a charge It just kind of helps condition the battery properly and everything so the battery doesn't get too cold The other thing about traveling with this is that you have two different options uh, Whenever you are traveling this will get you like I said It'll get you anywhere from four to five kilowatts an hour in some places depending on the amperage You can get all the way up to seven um, and then this will only get you one. So it's kind of like an emergency backup that'll at least charge it up enough where you can go to a supercharger. So let me know if you have any questions, um, any other questions about charging. I love it. Now this, because it's a 30 amp, it only actually charges about four to five kilowatts an hour, which is actually pretty good. So if it's at 50%, I'll, it'll end up charging in 10 hours. It'll be full. Typically, though, I only go up to about 90%. It's pretty good. So 
Let me know if you have any more questions. Hope this helps you. Again, portable charger is all I am using at home, even though I had the option of actually doing a the Ford Station Pro. The other question that you may ask is, what is it like to actually plug your Ford up to your house to power your house? Well, I'm not actually going to do that because frankly, <laughs> my truck, I don't wanna mess anything up and it was gonna be several thousand dollars for a particular unit. It's a home integration unit that you will have to purchase along with your Ford Pro Charger. My Ford Pro Charger came free, so I was gonna still have to pay an extra few thousand dollars, probably about $9,000 actually, to integrate it with my house to have a backup. I decided not to do that, and but that's up to you. If you wanna do that, that's, uh, that's what you end up having to do. You have to get a home integration unit. I'm not getting the home integration unit, but what I just wanted to walk you through is how simple it is to charge from home. And what I recommend is just getting yourself a 240 outlet in case you get a different electric vehicle sometime, in case you need to charge somebody else's, you have your own outlet that you can plug in a different charger to. So see you next time.